Hey guys, so we've got another image sent in for us to edit and this one sent in by Marie and Jake here. So they've sent this image in to me for me to do a tutorial for you guys. So if I just come down and show you guys the image we'll be working with, this one right here. So we're going to be trying to recreate the exact same edit and what we're going to be looking to do is to really create those rich and vibrant tones, especially in the highlights, we're going to try to create a real warm look so taking out the shadows and then maybe adding in a bit of clarity to make it look nice and crisp and then a bit of whites to make a pop so all the links will be down in the description guys and then i'd also highly recommend you guys check out their presets so you can come up here click the link presets and then this looks to be like the entire collection so you guys can come over here check them out and I think if you guys want to see more before and afters, you can check out their other Instagram page, Marie and Jake presets. So come over here. I'll put the links down in the description, guys. And then this gives a pretty detailed view into the before and after of the presets. So back to Instagram. And I'd also recommend, guys, go check out their YouTube. So let's have a look at that. And they've got their own great tutorials on how to edit photos themselves like this one right here and then they go into great detail on how they edit their photos so they're always posting on youtube guys so i'll put a link down go check them out over there as well and yeah let's get into lightroom see if we can create something bright and vibrant like this great instagram couple here okay so let's just start with some basic changes let's up the exposure just a bit we want a nice vibrant looking image so the best way to do that is to up the shadows so getting rid of those shadows gives the the look of a really nice bright well lit space um dropping the highlights just highlights is what's going to really give you the detail in the the highlights as well in the brighter areas and it's a very common thing i've seen people do okay so we want a real nice pop to our image as well it's up the whites really nice and bright and then we are going at the moment i wouldn't bring up the blacks but i know i'm going to add in so much contrast with the curves so I'll just bring it up a bit and then i'm going to add in the darker areas when i do the s curve in that okay so but before that we want to up the clarity so the clarity gives a real crispness to the image also adds in a little bit of contrast but you can see what that does it's a little like sharpening but it's a bit different we'll go with that now uh, let's drop the contrast a bit and okay so another thing we want a real color pop to this image there's a few ways to get a color pop but vibrance is definitely one let's up the vibrance and then okay so i'll move on to curves now but i'll just quickly take down the saturation down here because i know when once i do the contrast the color pop and the curves I'm going to get a lot more saturation because I want to bring a lot of colors into the highlights. And I'll try to explain to you guys why I do that. So just randomly bringing down the saturation quite a bit. Okay. Let's um, get 
that should be about right. Okay, so let's move on to curves and the goal here is to create a color pop. So I'll work with the red, green and blue channels and I'll just do them now and explain after what I did. Okay, so going back through the curves just to show you what I've done. Now, what's unique about these ones is I've put a lot of colors into the highlights. So that's gonna create a bit more vibrant tones to the highlights. So as you can see, when I lift this up, it's putting red into the highlights there. So, and you do that for each color, you're getting more colors into the highlights and we've got a pretty harsh s curve so you, you get those rich tones even into the shadows as well so you get the contrast and the color pop and if we come back up you might ask why not do it with just this curve because you want this one to be a bit more to control the fade and the brightness of the image it's not going to shift the colors because you're moving them all at once because the whole image is made up of red, green, and blue. You can make any color you want using those colors. So if you move them all, you can't really change the colors. So you use this as your brightness and contrast, and you just wanna lift up the black point just to take the harshness away, to add a bit of a fade there, especially with such a bright looking image. You don't want those blacks to be too harsh. It's a bit of a fade there, bit of a lift to those shadows and then just flat out and just bringing down the whites just a tad to flatten out those really bright bits. So it just looks a little nicer there. Okay. So hopefully you guys get that about the curves and my next video will be on how to use the RGB curves. So look out for that one. Right on to some colors now so i think i'm happy with our contrast and our brightness and such so we'll just work with some colors and i want to do a quick split tone so especially when you look at all of the image images it's quite warm um, in the shadows and you can achieve achieve that with the uh, rgb curves but I will do a little bit of it in the split toning. So I'm going to put a nice orange into the shadows. And then a nice blue into the highlights. So if you look at um, areas such as her hat there, we need a, it looks a bit warm. Sky, we still haven't changed the hue of the blue, but uh, we want a nice teal into the highlights. And then noticing split toning and stuff like that, it's kind of easier if you go and look at all their photos on their in Instagram because then you kind of see a pattern and consistency. Um, and let's up that to about there. Balance. Uh, I can stay about in the middle. So that's if you wanted more blue throughout the image. That's if you wanted more of whatever you put in the shadows throughout the image. Keep it about, I'll keep it in the middle. Okay, um, saturation. About there, oranges. Um, just 
go back up. Make sure we've got all our contrast correct. Um, I think we're pretty good. Roll with that. Okay. Maybe the hue we need to work with. So, as you can see, our yellow, well, our greens here are very, very orange over in this image. So, what you want to do is figure out whether it's the yellows or the greens that are doing it. And as you can see, the yellows affect the greens a lot. So, sometimes that is what's happening and you have to pay attention to that. Some people would just think to move the greens. But as you can see, the greens aren't doing a lot there. A little bit. Okay, so I'm going to shift the yellows all the way across. And you can see what effect that has, even to the grass in the background. And then if you look really close, you can see we still have green in there. And it's definitely gone in their image. So if we go back, go to the greens. That little bit of green that was being affected, we'll shift that right across and you can see how that's gone. Okay. Um, and then our reds, so kind of skin tone, the bits affecting, and the little bits of the uh, bush there, you can see they're quite red, and we want a bit more of an orange so we'll shift them and then the oranges kind of affecting the same a lot of the image and I'm gonna shift these a bit more to a deeper and before I carry on now it's quite hard to do this without doing the luminance first. So maybe I should have done the luminance a bit a bit before working with the colors, but I want to say really bring up the yellows here. So you can see the brightness of these areas. And I sort of know to do this because I know it's not the whites up here that's making that color pop because the hat doesn't have much color in it and I've already sort of matched up the brightness there so I know if I was trying to make this area as bright as that area by using these tools I would get areas such as this hat here way too bright so I know it's being done individually with the luminance to get the brightness of those tones so chucking up the luminance of the yellows to get that real color pop really common to do to create that warm vibrant feel because yellow is the sunlight and that's affecting the edges of everything so it creates a real pop to the image and then we'll do a bit of that with the uh, oranges as well And then uh, the reds, so especially thinking about uh, skin tone in this one, it's going to drop the luminance to create deeper tones. Drop it quite a bit. Um, not many greens. But you'd have to be pretty fussy and zoom in. I can just see... They would look a little bit deeper. Okay, and then just you want a bit of brightness to your blues and your aquas. So just bringing them both up a little. Again, creating that color pop. We 
looking pretty good. Just work with some saturations, blues, a bit more saturated. Quite often the aquas and blues affect the same area so it can be kind of tricky to pick which is which. bit more to those yellows. Okay, I think we're looking pretty good. Um, yeah, aquas. Kind of want a bit more of a green to the sky. You can see it's a bit blue. It's quite subtle. Um, let's shift the blues towards that aqua or green to get that tone. And then the aquas were affecting a bit more of the lake, I think. A little bit of the sky. Just shift them to there. And okay, looking good. Right. Um, now sharpening in that, we don't want to add any more sharpening. It's already really crisp because uh, of the clarity and such. And this image does look a little soft at the moment, but that's because it's a screenshot off Instagram. So I sort of I've got a good gauge of how soft images go because of the screenshot. Um, so yeah, just don't pay too much attention to the sharpening. I know it's brought down. Um, so noise reduction. This will just, I've seen quite a few people use this now. And it will just add a slight creaminess to your image. Which is quite a good idea, especially for a style like this. Because you can get it can get quite harsh and when you're adding in clarity and things like that it can just not look can look quite digital and then when you just add a bit of noise reduction it can really smooth things out in a nice way so if i just turn this on and off so that's see if you can notice the smoothness to, to the texture of the hair and stuff like that can look yeah and then looks nice and smooth now so it's actually kind of an important step and not one you'd probably think of uh, no grain at all and no vignetting obviously so I think that's just about it um, Come up, I think we're all good there. So, one thing you'll probably notice is the dress and the brightness of our subjects. So, we'll do that. Select the brush, and I've already brushed where I want to affect. So, a little bit on her hair as well, because I think it's a little brighter there. And so, we've got the dress and a little bit of the hair selected, and I want to bring up the shadows a lot to make it pop out a bit more then saturation okay so the dress is a bit orange and I think she wanted it to look a little more yellow so I'm not sure how she changed this because We've got the colors of the bushes and all that spot on at the moment. So I think she's selected the dress and the hair and we're going to change it to more of a yellow by adding in green there. And then we get 
quite a bit closer there and then just a bit more brightness so some exposure and then yeah we've added a bit of a pop to our subjects there and then also just to the entire image I want to bring up the vibrance I think everything could do with a bit more saturation and that looks pretty good I think I want a bit more brightness to the aquas especially so if you look really close in areas like this I think there's just more brightness in those areas I'm gonna bring that up and then when you bright when you bring up luminance there's a good chance you lose a little bit of saturation with that brightness increase so I'm just gonna bring that up a tad as well I think that looks right and yeah I think I'm about done with that guys I think we look pretty close pretty happy with that so I'll leave it there next video is about the curves so uh, look out for that one. I'm sure a lot of you guys will be looking forward to that tutorial plenty of comments asking for that But I'll put all these guys links down in the description. So links to their presets links to their Instagram their preset Instagram page um, Yeah, so go check them out guys I'm sure they're great presets and there'll be a bunch a big pack of them so you guys will be able, be able to use them on any any lighting any type of photo any colors so yeah links down in the description guys check it out you can check out my own presets if you're liking these tutorials as well and comment down below who you guys want to see this really helps me out when i go through all the comments and then i reach out to them on instagram ask them to send in a photo and then do a tutorial on them so do that for me guys really helps me find new people to do tutorials on and yeah that's about it guys i'll catch you in the next one thanks for watching